Hey. We're starting off nice and strong with a surgery. <laughs> Brush Bug here has not a lot of structure. He's got like an armature, like wire armature in him, um, but it's not, the wire that I used is not terribly strong, and I think I probably also like overstuffed him a little bit so that the, the, it just kind of, he can't, he can't really hold a shape, and I would like him to be able to hold a shape. Unfortunately, it's not going to be a very pretty craft vlog, I guess, because, um, all of my light goes away by like 11 a.m. and it's infuriating. I'm gonna put it out there into the world and say that if you are an enjoyer of both chai and chocolate milk and you have not thought to combine the two, you gotta get on that because it's like everything I always wanted hot chocolate to be. So today I want to work on Kifri's glasses. I These look pretty good, um, but the, um, the nose bridge doesn't really fit. So what they do is like I've got, they sit here, I put them on with eyelash glue. It just like isn't exactly the same shape as my nose. It either, you know, sticks out here or it'll stick out here. And so I want it to actually be able to fit snugly on my nose so that it doesn't fall off. I uh, am not a hundred percent sure how I want to do this because I want to... <laughs> I would like to be able to make like a mold of my nose so that I can fit it as precisely as possible. But I don't have anything to do that with. Like I don't have clay. I don't work with clay, so I don't and I don't really want to like go and get some. But I do <laughs> I do have liquid latex. Uh <laughs> what I've been thinking of doing is perhaps making like just putting a layer uh, like a few layers of liquid latex on my nose to get the shape of it and then like put something be supportive behind it maybe foam clay and just kind of like try to keep the integrity of the shape and then use that to, to make like a mold <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna work but <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try. <laughs> Every time, I always forget how this stuff smells, and then... Right, hello? Alright, well... <laughs> hmm. Methinks she's a little bit too watery. She's a little stale, I think. <laughs> Not to think about that I'm putting this on my face. There we go, that's closer to what it's supposed to be like. I look like the like stereotype of like 
dad tourist with like the sunscreen on his nose. <laughs> Hi, can I help you? It's like noon 05. It's, I know it's not, it's noon 30, but like still. Ah. Oh. the desire to use orange came from for this. I think it's because it just goes with the color of the tassel really well. But we can say that it represents El Rugio or something. <laughs> Do I like this? Perhaps? Maybe? Okay, so I've, I've got a decent thickness on now. So, next step is to Set it. Oof. Okay. okay, I'm gonna try adding foam clay to it. Unfortunately, I am not accompanied by a silly little beverage today because I'm out of chai, which means that I can't self-medicate until I get more, and I am having significantly more difficulty um, masquerading as a functioning human being. Because I want to repaint Victor's cane. Um, she's um, gone through it. <laughs> Time to cut the hair. I am going to the Cherry Blossom Festival tomorrow and I want to... The back of my hair is um, kind of... She's a little flat. I don't want to cut the front because I'm a little afraid of cutting it too short. Um, so what I'm thinking is I might actually do this in two parts. I want to like leave most of the top long and I'll just do the back and like the sides. Because I sometimes I cut it a little bit too short. Um, because it's like a very, I'm very, very precise about the length of the top. So I don't want to, I don't want to feel like it's, it's not doing it for me while I'm at, you know, an event where I want to look attractive. I'm actually kind of excited to, to try it this time because, um, I got those like LED, like strip lights a while ago. And this is the first time cutting my hair while I've had those. So that might mean that this time I'm actually going to be able to see what I'm doing in the back of my head, which would be really nice. So I, I wanted to I wanted to show you my kind of my setup, how I do it. It's a pain in the ass. So we have the supplies. We have the mirror. The mirror is propped up against the tripod. It's also propped up on top of a space heater because otherwise it's not tall enough. The space heater is plugged into the wall because if I don't have it running, I will lose circulation in my feet and they'll start hurting. We also now have the mirror plugged into the wall as well. Um, I looked at it a moment ago and it does seem to work decently well. It's not like perfect, it's not like a super bright light, but it is definitely an improvement. So, 
And you may well ask, Dorian, why wouldn't you just fucking go and get your hair cut by somebody else? But have you considered, actually, that I'm cheap? This early because I can't fall asleep before midnight and I prefer it to be dark in the morning anyway like I never want an east facing window ever again I got at the Art Mart setup that was at the Cherry Blossom Festival is Cat Bus, but like he's Muni <laughs> in different locations in San Francisco. I think today I want to work on shaping the actual like nose piece. Kind of all I want to do today is play Stardew Valley because I just, <laughs> I'm still on my first playthrough and I just had the event where now you can have access to that little tunnel by the the train tracks and I want to like find out all the lore by myself I really want everything to be a surprise so I don't know what's on the other side of that door I want to I, I want to play starter but I also need to uh, do con prep
honestly such a tragedy that I have to do this at all, because comparatively, I don't really like the finish that the acrylic has, as opposed to the spray paint. Like, this is still spray paint down here. It's kind of difficult to see through a camera, but it's got more of a, it's got a slightly more red tone to it, versus the acrylic is a very, like, yellow, almost green kind of gold. And it also, like, just looks better overall. Like, the, the acrylic has a very, like, flat kind of look to it, whereas the spray paint is much more, like, authentically metallic looking. But having it look a little bit flat, I guess, is, you know, better than having the paint just straight up fall off the cane, so, you know. I don't honestly know if this is gonna be a good video. Like, it might end up being a little bit kind of disjointed and confused because it's just, this is a format of video that I have never tried before and I'm not sure what exactly I'm gonna want from it. I don't have a structure that I'm following here. I do have people telling me sometimes that they, they like having my videos on in the background while they're like crafting or doing something. So uh, this is, ideal for that, I guess. You know, I don't know if I want to, like, think of a, like, an outro phrase to use, because then I could use it as a crutch, or if I just want to, like, continue not having any idea how to close out a video, because I do kind of think that's funnier. Either way, though, I don't have anything else for you right now, so have a nice day. You know, or don't. I'm not your dad. I'm not gonna tell you what to do. <laughs>